Hi, this is John Sage with AccessibleCaribbeanVacations.com and SageTraveling.com. I'm here on the Carnival Magic cruise ship uh, in one of the interior accessible rooms. And just want to show you a few parts about this room. Uh, Carnival is the cheapest cruise line out there, and so they do cut some corners. And, and I can show you a few instances where um, you might see a difference between this ship and other cruise lines. Um, the first thing is that I do travel alone a, a lot doing accessibility research, and I was surprised I didn't know that I was going to get a, a single bed. Um, I had never, um, I've, I've traveled alone and, and been in interior rooms that are accessible, but never had a single bed. Um, this is actually kind of a unique configuration. There's a single bed here, and then there is a another single bed that comes out of the ceiling. So it's kind of like bunk beds. Um, but this is uh, it's a little little uh, little snug in, in the bed. The uh, the desk is is fairly normal. I will say the the bed side stand is is a little small. But the the desk is fairly normal. Um, the bathroom's over here, and I'll I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Um, as all accessible rooms, there's a wider door out into the hallway, so it's easier to to get in. The normal door width for for normal rooms. Is too narrow for for my wheelchair. Um, there is a mini bar uh, and a, re a refrigerator here, um, and the the television. This is one of the ways that I think that Carnival uh, cuts costs a little bit. That's one of the the smallest televisions that that I've uh, seen on on cruise ships. Um, also, one of the things that is is definitely a, a big difference and maybe a, a big deal to to many people is the the closets. These there are two doors here. So this closet is for hanging materials, and it's not very wide at all, and this one has shelves. So this is, this is significantly smaller than I've seen on a lot of other uh, accessible state rooms on other ships. Uh, moving into the bathroom, the bathrooms um, on every ship that I've been on have been very accessible. They include roll-in showers, um, plenty of room to, to get into the door, and so there's not a whole lot of difference on the cruise ships uh, as far as the bathroom is concerned, but you can see one difference here um, is that the, the toilet doesn't have grab bars directly next to it because it's sort of the toilet comes out at an angle, um, which may, may be a problem for some people, but I think most people will be fine with it. Uh, there's plenty of room for a, a wheelchair user's knees to, to roll underneath the sink. I had no problem using that. And the, the shower um, does have a, a bench that comes uh, out from the wall. It has a handheld shower nozzle. Uh, and it's it's flat to roll into, so there's no problems there. Um, I will be finishing uh, my accessibility review of this ship, and I will write everything up and uh, take a few more videos, and they will all go onto the the website accessiblecaribbeanvacations.com. So be sure to to look there for more information about uh, accessibility of the Carnival Ma Carnival Magic cruise ship, uh, as well as the destinations that I'll be visiting.